Hello, welcome back to Smart Spain, information technology blog. This channel is all about to help you guys understand IT field on practice. And in today's tutorial we're gonna cover a Python tree which is installed on Windows 10 machine. As you may know that or have you watched the previous video tutorial from a Smart Spain, so now we have to understand a data types and how you can use them on a Python tree. And in today's tutorial, we're gonna cover a classes and variables. If you're interested, the classes and variables is coming up. Before we're gonna jump into command line, I wanna give you some brief uh, review what is a class variable stands for and how we can understand it. Class variables are defined with the class construction because they are open by the class itself. Class variables are shared by all instance of the classes. They therefore will generally have the, uh, have the same value for the every instance unless you are using the class variables to initialize a variable. Defined outside of all methods, class variables are by convention typically placed right below the class header and before the constructor method and other method. A class variable is long, uh, should be looks like uh, so. That's what a class method looks like. Uh, here's a war uh, variable animal type, uh, as you can see the shark. And uh, it's assigned the wallet is as a fish. We can create uh, an instance of the shark class. Uh, we will we will call it a, a shark dot pi file and print the variable by using that uh, notation. So let's try to create a a shark uh, a shark file Python file. Let's go ahead and jump into command line. As you can see that I have right now inside of my Python virtual environment that I have created on Windows 10 machine. If you miss this part, please feel free and check this out our uh, first tutorial how we set up and create a virtual Python environment on your Windows 10 machine. If your win uh, Windows 10 Python environment is created and set up properly, just go ahead and log on to your virtual environment on Windows 10 and now we have to create uh, a Python file which we're gonna call in our case shark but you can call it whatever you want so let's go ahead and create our shark py Python file so right now we are inside of the um, <clears throat> our text file which is called shark now we can type it in the following command class shark don't forget I I uh, be, be be careful with the capital letter and lower letter because Python as I said before pretty sensitive language <clears throat> to to spelling so pay attention to to the spelling it's a first rule on the Python so class shark uh, class shark then we're gonna go go next animal um, animal animal type uh, equal to fish right then uh, new shark new shark equal capital shark b b b like i said pay attention to to the capital letters b shark new shark and shark semicolon open closing then print Uh, let's get, let's say new shark uh, dot animal animal t 
type right and close this out now if you want to save it just uh, hold your control uh, <clears throat> keyboard and press X it's gonna ask you for if you would like to change it, your um, <clears throat> saving if you want to save it just hit yes and hit enter and after that as you can see that we have uh, redirected right to our Python environment back from our text file. Now if you want to check this out, how is it work? Just type it in Python, Python, then space, sharp. Don't forget, now it's a lowercase, it's not a capital one. And pi. And now as you can see, the result is printed out as a fish because we give it the uh, print out uh, as you remember, the print was as a new shark that animal <coughs> and type. Now the result in your case it should be if, if you repeat by my step it should be saying fish. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, add a few more class variables and print them out. So first we need to go back to to our. Uh, Python file just one sec I'm gonna take I'm gonna uh, zoom in so that you can see it uh, <clears throat> so we gotta edit it a little bit so um, shark fish Let's go a bit in different way. Let's go a bit different way so that you can see it. Um, animal type. Uh, we gotta do location and uh, where it's it's fish in the ocean and then uh, followers for instance number five and uh, new shark uh, equal is capital shark then print uh, new shark that uh, that sorry my bad animal animal time Check your spell and sometimes when you tap it in, you make a small mistake and after that it, uh, your command is not going to be working. So just just make sure that you tap in right. Print new shark animal uh, type. All right, let's go ahead close it down and try one more time. Print uh, new shark. Uh, dot location which is ocean location which is ocean um, then print one more time result is going to be a new shark uh, dot followers followers and Let's go ahead and check spelling. Print new shark followers location animal type, right? Seems to be normal, then go ahead and save it. Click yes, save, then uh, sorry, clear, and let's go ahead and try more time and see results. So as you can see that we have a three print out result. 
As you remember that for animal time we put a fish and for location we put ocean and the followers we put a number five. Just like with any other variable, classes and variables can consist of any data type available to, <coughs> to us in Python. In this problem we have string and integra. Uh, we can run actually the program again with the Python shard that by if you want to make sure that is no any mistake, just try again. Same result that we have assigned to our shark.py file. Next, we're going to review uh, instance variable. Instance variable are owned by instance of classes. This means that for each object or instance of class, the instance variable are different. Unlike class variable, instance variable are Define with a method. So in the next uh, sample, I'm going to show you how we can use instance. I already pre-typed all my uh, command. You can, you are free to go to copy over. So just let's go ahead to go in our um, shark.py file, and you're gonna see what I have typed in for instance variable. So as you can see that I have uh, still has uh, a class uh, the shark class define initial self name and age. So self name is gonna be name, self age is gonna be age. A new shark is a shark. Uh, we're gonna call for instance semi and it's gonna give five age all. And the result is gonna be print the name and the result is gonna be one more print the age. And as you can understand that we should see the name as a semi and five years old by typing uh, Python chart that Py command. So let's go ahead. You just type it in, follow uh, what I have typed right now. Just save it by control X, Y, and let's go uh, clear our history. Let let me just zoom in so that you can see more clearly the result and let's type it in python shark.py and now we can see the result as semi which is the name and fine which is the age you can put any name whatever which is experiment and i show you guys what are instance variables and how it works Working with the class and instance variables together, class variables and instance variables will always be utilized at the same time. So let's look at an example of using the same class shark. Uh, the comments in the program outline each step of the process. I'm gonna show you what I mean by let's go up to our uh, to our uh, shark uh, to our shark.py and let's go ahead and edit it a little bit and i'm going to show you how we can use basic commands in our class and vari variables uh, let me go ahead and jump on top of it and comment it on what i mean by com commenting so uh, if you, if you want to make any comment, you should type it in hyphen first to make a comment on the Python language. Class, for instance, let's have a comment like so. Class variables like so, and go ahead, uh, hit enter, just give it some space, and uh, again hyphen. Uh, contractor for instance uh, method uh, with instance um, variable uh, name and age like so because we have Printed result the name which is semi and the age which is number five. 
let's go ahead and try one more things with the company let's go ahead and typing like so um, method with instance variable uh, followers you don't have to put the hyphen at the end of your comment just in the front because if you don't put a hyphen in the front your uh, chart.py text file is not going to work because it's not really common if you don't put a hyphen in the front of it so let's go uh, let's go ahead and uh, Trying to find a space set followers, followers uh, like so, then self, comma, followers. Then call closing, and then. Mm, if I want to see the result is print print um, this user has for instance let's say string uh, Followers, like so. Then closing, then plus space plus. The hello is open. Uh, followers close. Let's call ahead and uh, define main. For instance, uh, oh, I'm sorry, my bad. And commenting like um, uh, first object, first object instance, instance what are we at? variable then okay uh Stevie okay Stevie dot set for rollers Followers, let's say set is set, right? Like for instance, uh, sorry about that. Um, print out class variable animal. Um, uh, print Stevie Animal uh, Type Let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna type it in uh, if if name equal 
main equal main I mean, that's what it looks like when you comment in on your Python TXT file so that if you work with the team, so that the next, uh, whenever who gonna work with your code on Python can understand what comments you have made in your class or instance variables that you work with. So uh, now let's go ahead and uh save it then uh, we're gonna run and see what's gonna be the result as you can see a uh, name sammy with shark uh, in the ocean stevie this is user has 77 followers that we assigned the follower for this particular user and the fish that's how we can clarify uh, and make your uh, class and variables and instance variables in the Python tree clear and understandable um, whenever you work with this. And don't forget, in object-oriented programming, variables at the class level are referred to as class variable, whereas variable at the object level are called instance variable. This differential allows us to use class variable to initialize objects with a specific value assigned to variables and use different variables for each object with instance variable.